girls. Uh, and so you can see the difference is in color. You know, the differences would be green and pink. So, because because in physics I learned it with, as indefinite, and we had that plus c, and we had to solve for that uh, constant integration. And it's not more or less work necessarily. I think it's going to be easier the way we do it when it gets a little bit more complicated, and when we're doing integral VDVs, um, we're doing things in terms of theta and other things instead of time. Uh, but you see here that this, this constant of integration becomes seven, whereas that was what I had on the left-hand side of my equation as the initial velocity, which, which you might want to take to the right-hand side of your equation. Yes. Okay, there should be enough. So keep on passing it around. Yeah, maybe this side. All right. All right, and then if we wanted to, so you get the same answer. If you wanted to keep on doing it again, take the integral again to find position. If, if you do it uh, with a plus C, you, you need to solve for that plus C. How do you solve for plus C? Well, if you know that the initial, if you know when T is equal to zero, um, my position was four. I'd plug in T is equal to zero. I'd plug in S is equal to four and then solve for C. Okay. We get the same answer. Uh, and I really don't care if y'all do it other way. Just uh, be consistent. Um, yeah, do the math right and then you're golden, right? Y'all can do a lot of things wrong. If you get the right answer, I'm pretty nice to you, right? Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's go.